red bean curry is really common in India and is popularly known as rajma and it's best enjoyed with rice. So rajma chawal is an excellent dish to make on a lazy Sunday for that delicious Sunday brunch. Let's get started here. I have hot oil in my pan and I'm going to add cumin seeds, one teaspoon. And along with cumin seeds, we'll add one bay leaf called tejpata and three, four garlic cloves. And we'll let everything flutter here. So along with these basic ingredients, I'm going to add some chopped onions, ginger and garlic. So one large onion chopped and ginger and garlic, one tablespoon each. So blend everything together and let our onions fry. Now rajma curry can be made in so many different ways. It's best made in pressure cooker if you have one or you can always try it on a pot. You can try it in slow cooker um, and today I'm making it in a pot because a lot of my friends don't have pressure cooker, my non-Indian friends and they always tell me that my rajma curry tastes good because I cook it in pressure cooker. So this is this recipe is for them, for those who don't have pressure cooker. And I have here one cup of um, red kidney beans, that's rajma, that I had soaked in water overnight. So one cup red kidney beans and they were soaking in about three cups of water. So I have not boiled my rajma, they've just been soaked in the water and we are going to add it in our pot here once the onions are a little tender and golden brown. In order to cook my onions faster, I'm going to add some salt. So as per taste, I'm going to add two teaspoons because this curry is going to have a lot of water. So two teaspoons of salt in here. Alright, so, so our onions are changing color, they are getting golden brown and at this time we are going to add red chili powder and turmeric, that's haldi. So adding one teaspoon of red chili powder and one teaspoon of haldi, that's turmeric. Mix it in and now we will add two tablespoons of tomato paste. You can also use fresh tomatoes. So two tablespoons of tomato paste in. And I'm going to throw in my rajma or red kidney beans in this base, gravy base. Our red kidney beans are in the pot and now I'm going to add one cup of water because we want these kidney beans to simmer in this spice mixture. Alright, just adding one cup of water here. We will cover this and let our kidney beans or rajma simmer for 30 minutes so that they are fully cooked. If we had boiled them earlier, it could have been a quicker process. So we'll just cover them and let them simmer. So medium to low heat. So after half an hour, your delicious curry will be ready. And when you're about to eat it, garnish it with some cilantro and some onions. See, the curry looks beautiful. So good. Just gonna taste it. Mm hmm. 
excellent i'm just gonna add pinch of garam masala up to you not necessarily required if you want you can add it or avoid it so just we'll mix it in and you know what this curry rajma curry tastes good the next day so make it a day in advance if you can and i'm gonna boil some rice and enjoy my curry 